On the table today at Squirrel Stampede, have you seen what is going on with Pokemon Paldea Evolved, the Elite Trainer box on the table, plus a Squirtle build. We are going to open booster packs and Squirtle building at the same time. I hope our fingers and our carts don't get all tied up. It's gonna be pretty nice, especially if that Squirtle started squirtling all over the cards. So that wouldn't be good either, but we'll have a lot of fun. You gotta stick around as we pull some amazing X cards, hopefully, or is that EX? EX or X cards? <laughs> it's one or the other. Let's get right to the Squirtle and Pokemon Paldea Evolved. Squirrel Stampede. <laughs> Okay, it's Scarlet and Violet Paldea Evolved, the first expansion after the first Scarlet and Violet box. Oh, and looky there, we've got a new squirrel on the table. It's Crazy Clay Squirrel. Crazy Clay likes to steal acorns. Hey, that was my acorn. Yeah, I don't know how he did that. The Paldea Evolved box is a pretty colorful box with, oh, how do I say them? I have the hardest time saying these starter Pokemon. Probably the most hardest ever. Well, Quaxley, okay, Quaxley's pretty easy. Few Coco, which I use and now have evolved into like Few a Gator. And then Sprigatitito. Sprigatito. Did I get that right? Over on the back, a few things going on with Paldea Evolved. Most importantly, nine Pokemon TCG Scarlet and Violet Pokemon Evolved booster packs included. And all the basic Helaetrainer box stuff. And then we've got, of course, Squirtle. I've always wanted to build a larger Mega Pokemon Squirtle. 199 pieces with this one. Build and show Squirtle with a small little water display stand of shot. And there we've got a few others available. Let's just get these pieces out. We could do a little bit of both at the same time. And typical Mega Constructs Pokemon, a ton of different bags full of pieces. Although I'm guessing 199 pieces is not so bad to just have in one bag system, so no worries there. We've got that going, so now we can check out our first pack of Paldea Evolved. How many missing pieces is going to happen today? Ah! A little awkward there. What is in here? Well, of course we have the player's guide, so anything new and interesting inside here? A notable new Pokemon X, Pikachu EX, Dynamite Bolt! Newly discovered Pokemon, could we please just get at least one? Paldea and Tauros size, uh, size. That's interesting. I always kept a Tauros and Pokemon Go around my place. I don't see anything too squarelific yet, so we'll just dig into these and maybe we'll find something very fluffy. And of course the usual trainer box stuff like protective card sleeves with the trio there. Pack of energy booster cards. Card dividers with the starters dice, kind of a gray and sky blue motif with an amber big one, competition coins, and what could be our special card, our special card included, that's an adventuring together Pikachu card, how adorably cute, so if nothing goes right in this pack, at least we have this very, very colorful, shiny, foily card, this one is actually pretty, pretty spectacular, I'll call this one of my favorite cards so far of uh, Violet and Scarlet, so we'll we'll treasure that. And of course we've got nine booster packs. That's a pretty good one. Usually it's eight, or is it always nine? I can't remember now, so we got nine of those. Uh, let's build a little bit first though. Okay, Landry and I have constructed well, I'm not sure what I constructed. Maybe it's like the back part of Squirtle's shell body. I'm not sure. It could be anything. It could be anything. So while Landry ponders what that exactly is, we'll start with our first Paldea Evolved. What? What is that? I can't even make that out. Is that like a giant teacup on top of a... I don't know. It's definitely one of the newer discovered Pokemon. Okay, someone correctly squamented last time the new way of pulling these. We take the top card off, then we take this card, we flip it to the back, just one this time. Then we flip around, did I get that right? Basic energy, always helpful. Tropius, Dunsparce, I think I saw one on Pokemon Go recently. Hopip, Whooper, oh Whooper so cute. Mega Constructs did an excellent Whooper back in the day I believe. Grafeye. Did I even say that right? It's kind of squirrel-like, right? Very interesting little Pokemon. And then we get closer to pinch your chin. Zoelius. Oh, ah, that's a dino guy, isn't it? And Snover. Ooh, with a little hollow uh, reverse there. And Jigglypuff. Oh, there's a good one. 
That one's fun, and I see something really good back here. It's a weevil! Pretty good, that's a good start. A hollow weevil, so we can go with that pack pretty well to begin the day. I like that Jigglypuff quite a bit. Okay, Landry and I will now go through steps six through 11 and see if we can make more sense of this Squirtle build. Okay, we added two more steps to that 12 and 13, and we've got Squirtle's head. So we've got the Squirtle head build, obviously a good start to our Squirtle, he now has a head. So for our next booster pack, this must be the newly discovered Chin Pao. Chin Pao, am I saying that right? How come I have not newly discovered these yet in gameplay? Maybe because I'm only like a gym badge three or something like that. Almost gave it away there. Okay, this time we start with some basic water energy. A Fletchling. Beep, 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 beep. A Voldorb, always fun to catch these in my neighborhood on go. Clavel, oh, this guy is so interesting in game. Always kind of following you around, trying to find him in a crowd, dressing up differently. Dunsparce, we saw before. A uh, Vespiquin, kind of cool. SQ, Ice Q, we got a really good Ice Q early on. Ben Ultra 21 caught one like that was a level 40 or 50 or something when we were really weak. Uh, Ayano, did I say that right? Ayano, I did battle her for a gym badge and won. That was a good one. I like the city she's at. That was really cool in Violet. A Sudowoodo! Oh, that's great. A Sudowoodo with a shiny uh, base card to it. Very cool. Corvusquire with a shiny. And. And <gasps> Gyarados! A hollow Gyarados, that is a great find. I actually have a Gyarados part of my team at the very end. Always nice to have one of these. That's a great looking card. Awesome! So far, Paldea evolved looking good. So if Landry and I build steps 14 through 23, we will have a Squirtle's head constructed. Okay, now we have a Squirtle's brain casing totally constructed, brain installed, neck pivot point installed, ready to be ready to be melded onto the body. Pretty round, looking good. As for our next booster pack, that must be oh how do I say this? Meow, Meowscar, Meowscarada. Did I get that right? Meowscarada EX, maybe even. Have not known much about Meowscarada EX. This time we start with basic fight energy. Annoy bat. That's a nice squirrelish character in a way, just with wings. Squirrel with wings. A combi. We saw a great combi build in the last uh, Mega Constructs uh, combination sets. Uh, Glimmit. Oh, that also looks squirrely. That's definitely a squirrel tail on the back of a Glimmit. And Frigibax. <laughs> That's more like a frog squirrel. Mousehold. Mousehold. Sea Titan, Corviknight, Larvitar, and a little bit of a shiny backdrop there. Pikachu! Oh great, a cool Pikachu card! And a little base shiny too, that's fun to find. Very cute, I like how he's just doo -doo 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 -doo, hopping through the, the city there. Little Poke Go Center back there. And, and, a Palmot! Oh, that one's really cool! A hollow Palmot! Electric. And the light is really shining off this one. The bolts coming right from the Pawmot's paw. Very cute. Gots to say, I'm enjoying Paldi Evolved a little more than just basic Scarlet and Violet. Okay, where are we at now? I think we're going to work on some of the shell of the Squirtle. Lots to be done in steps 24 through 30. Let's see what we can build, Landry. Landry and I have begun construction of the shell. Pretty much all the meat of the insides. Then we'll wrap around some more shelling pieces in the next steps. But first, we gotta see what our next pack is going to deliver us. Who's this one? Anybody have any guesses with this one? Okay, where do we start? Steel energy this time. So far going for the rounds of energy. Another Noibat. Sprigagatiatito. <laughs> Such a hard time saying that. 
Quaxley. We're getting some starter Pokemon right now. Charcadet. Naklastak. Oh, that one's really Minecraft-esque, isn't it? That one's really cool. It's like a bunch of Minecraft blocks into a Naklastak. Or Naklastak? I can't. I don't know. But that's a really cool one. I'm, I gotta know more about this one. Calamitous Snowy Mountain. That is a really cool card. It's a stadium trainer card with the mountain. Very interesting. I like this one. Corvus Squire again. Have we seen the Corvus Squire every pack now? Uh, shiny back Surulege. Surulege. Saying that right, that is a spectacular looking character card. And a little bit of a shiny hollow on that. Then we've got a, oh, a Tinkatuff, a full art Tinkatuff card. That is crazy cool looking. Oh, there's something else under there too. Very nice. Is this one of those illustration cards, I wonder? It could be. I gotta check this in the guide. Very nice, very purple. Interesting weapon Tinkatuff is using. That's a cool one. That's a very cool one. Full card art. And we end up with another, how funny, a hollow Cero. I can't say it still. A Serluge. A Seruluge. Serluge. I, I just can't say it. But we have both forms a hollow and a reverse in the same pack. Very interesting. And yes, Tinkatuff is one gold star, which is illustration rare. So really fun full card art with this one. Look at the rainbow shine on that. Very fun. And so now Landry and I will continue with the shell build of Squirtle. So now Landry and I have constructed what looks to be the entire back shell of a Squirtle. Very nicely done, and then we will begin to build the rest front part in the next steps. But first, let's move on to our next pack. And oh, I recognize this one. It's a Skeledirge. I've evolved my Fucoco up to a Skeledirge. Pretty tough Pokemon. Almost once again spoiled. Now we're on to Fire Energy. Have we seen every one so far? I think we're seeing them all. There's Fire. Tandemouse. Sprigagatiatitu. Magnemite, Nakli, Dun Dun Sparse, Doo Dun Sparse, Doo Doo and Doo Dun Sparse, Puppetar, Faulkner, I have not run into Trainer Faulkner yet, I believe, Voltorb with a shiny base, very nice, Diego Momo, can't say it, but uh, have I run into this? I've gone through a couple star energy camps already, they're, they're quite tough. And a Tyranitar, very nice. A hollow Tyranitar, very pretty with this one. Nice and green. A lot of activity of shininess going on behind. Very fun and fancy card. Could we say maybe the most Squirtle-esque, maybe? No. Well, now we can build onto Squirtle's body in steps 36 through 42. Let's get working, Landry. Okay, we're moving quite along well with the inner body of a Squirtle, and I think maybe the next round we'll finish off that front part of the shell, but for now, we're gonna go back to this one. What is this one's name again? It has some really interesting spiky teeth going on. Spiky teeth. And we begin with Plant Life Energy card. A Nackley. Shinx is new for today. Super Rod, always nice to have some trainer items. A love disc, aww. Crocolore, we've, I've known a Crocolore before, shortly. A pellet paper, that one's funny. A Fletchinder, a Monkey, with a little bit of shiny reverse. A Frigivax, a little shiny reverse there. And a Sloking EX! A Sloking X! Look at that, our first X card of the day. Wow, it's just shattering out of the card. This may be the best card of today. Look at that. I love Slowpoke, so this one's pretty fun. This is a really cool one. Wow. Profound knowledge and wise headbutt. Some of the powers of this one. Psychic Purple. Way cool. Way cool card. Probably the best card of the day. Very nice card art. Yeah! I'm liking Paldea Evolved today. And so what say we build some more shell? Landry, set us up with some more pieces. And we have 
Squirtle's front shell constructed a little bit challenging in getting these lines to line up. These side pieces are actually specific to each side, so if you get them to line up right across the center there with these triangle pieces, you should be able to branch out. Pretty tricky there. And then we got his head attached, so Squirtle is moving along quite well. We have more time for more booster packs. Let's get another Meowskiscarita. Meowskiscarita, meow something out. <laughs> So many new names to try to embed into one's mind. What do we find in this pack? So now we're going with more dark energy. Oh no, that's our first dark energy. I think we saw steel energy before. A wingle. Pineco. I like that. I like picking up pine cones while I walk around neighborhood. Uh, Merrill. Mankey's back. Arctabax. That's kind of squirrel like and fun for the day. Another Giacomo. Another Talon Flame. No, this is our first Talon Flame, I think. That's a cool one. I like a little fire, or I should say a hot one. Fire one. Raichu is here with a little bit of a reverse. Raichu, yeah, we found a Pikachu and a Raichu today. Fighting all late. I don't know what that is. That's a really weird one. It is in reverse, though. Pretty. And we finish with an Oracorio. Hollow. Very nice. Lots of really pretty hollows today. Almost lobster-esque with this one. It's a red oricorio, but I feel like I see lobster tail. If you move this around really fast, it looks like a lobster. What do you think? Very good card set. Now we got just a couple more things to do for Squirtle. We're gonna start with 53, stages 53 through 56, and put some legs on the back of him. And we've got our Squirtle up on toes, a little bit unstabled with that Squirtle tail missing, but we'll get that in the next stage of build, I hope. Looking good, Squirtle. Couple more booster packs to go. Anything else special will we find? It would be really cool to find at least one more illustration rare or an EX card. X or EX? What's the best way of saying that? Oh, I may have spoiled a little there. We're back to Psychic. Psychic Energy. Snover. Fletchling. Voltorb. Lots of Voltorbs today. A couple Clavels. Vigoroth. That one's fun. Have not seen that yet today. An Organ Guru. An Oranguru. Oranguru. Say that better. Electroid. Okay, so an upgrade from Voltorb. An Electrode. Tropius. In reverse, that one's fun. I'll give that a squirrel-like look. Probably a little more dinosaur, right? But I'll, I'll give it squirrel-like look. A Pommy, that one's in reverse too. At least we get a double reverse now. And uh, uh, a Wigglytuff. Wigglytuff is here, that's a good hollow. Lots of great hollows today. So far, no doubles and hollows. I'm sure that means that last pack. I just, I just, uh, Darn it, jinxed ourselves on that one. Uh, but yeah, sometimes when I do these booster packs, sometimes when I do these trainer boxes, we get a lot of the doubles. So another great Paldea box evolved. And it's our Squirtle, fully constructed. We've got arms, legs, and a tail balancing this cute little squirrel turtle. Very awesome build. And in our final stages, we will build a little display pad for him. But first, let's check out our, our final Paldea Evolved pack. I did sadly jinx us in the last bit there. I said that we were going to get a repeat, so let's see what repeat we get. One card, flip around, and we start back to the beginning with plant energy. Is that where we started? It seems like we started in plants. But it is a very pretty and vibrant card. A Della Bird, Super Rod, Love Disc, lots of repeats here. Snover, Heracross, Kilowattrell, that's a pretty cool one. Little electric there. Azamaril, Mastiff, also I think we have not seen today, right? Kind of getting them mixed up a little bit. <gasps> We've got a Paldean Taros! Awesome! That's a good find. A little bit of a shiny backer. Taros, that's a character we need to see more of. I always see the same boring Taros out by my mailbox when I'm playing Pokemon Go. <gasps> we have an X card. We're gonna finish off strong. What do you know? We aren't jinxed. It's a Paldean Clodsire X. 
This is actually really an amazing card of Aldean Claude Sir X. As we have seen a whooper here somewhere. Where's the guide? The Paldean Whooper appears in two different cards in this expansion, and one of them has an attack that helps set up its evolution for success. The Find a Home attack lets you put a stardom card from your deck into your hand, meaning you'll be ready to trap your opponent in a toxic wetland after evolving Paldean Whooper into a Paldean Clod Sire X. Which whooper did we get now? It's been a while. So we did find that whooper with the Find a Home power, and there is the Clod Sire X. Funny, the other whooper has a stampede power. I think that would have been pretty cool too, obviously. But wow, to end on this card is pretty awesome. Look at all the little stars, reflective stars on this card. The layers, oh it is so cool looking and pretty. What a find, what a cool find to finish. And of course, now we have to finish our Squirtle. We have to build its display stand, so let's finish up our Squirtle build. There we have our finished Squirtle build with display, water blast display. Looks like he's shooting water from his mouth. Kind of hard to get it to balance. There we go. Kind of place it up there close if you want to. Kind of not the most necessary thing, but adds up to your display if needed. Yeah, it's really fun to see a larger version of Squirtle. I've built probably a few smaller versions from the Pokeball builds from Mega over the years. And I think we've even seen this character a couple times offered from Mega and or Mega Construct. So if you look around, you can usually find this one pretty readily available. Articulated at the shoulders, at ball joints that twist. Articulated at the hips that uh, are on balls and twist, I believe too, yep. And then the tail here gives added support. Nice little swirly details here, line work on the shell. Great, cute looking headpiece. Also comes with a dive ball. Uh, it's a clip. You clip it onto a bag. I kind of wish that they just left these as a ball, though. That was more fun than the clips. But there is our Squirtle. Fun to pair up today. I wish Mega could pair up a little quicker and have some of the new starter Pokemon ready for Scarlet and Violet. A Quaxley, Fucoco, or a Spigatadito would have been fun to build. But I imagine eventually we'll see some. So overall, Paldea Evolved turned out to be pretty successful. We really didn't run into any problems of doublifying some of the best cards. Uh, that often happens sometimes with us. We get, say, a couple Weaviles or something, but the Gyarados, the Palmot, the Wigglytuff, Cloudsire X, uh, Slowking X, both of those two were my favorites in the pack. The Tinkatuff illustration card was pretty neat to see too. I wish the illustration cards were a little easier to get. There's so many, so many in there, they need to be less stingy. And the nice Pikachu group card with the starters was good. So overall, Paldea Evolved was really fun. And of course, building that Squirtle kind of mixed things up a little bit. So if you liked today's video, please give us a squike, squirrel live. Who's your favorite Paldea Evolved Pokemon? Thank you so much for watching. That's what I have to say about that.